Hi, hello. I would just like to interrupt and say I really don't like this prediction. I really don't like this prediction. I don't like my own playoff prediction slash record predictions. I don't like it. I am disappointed in myself. Posting this video is going to make me uncomfortable because I don't agree with my own prediction. So, yeah. Hey guys, what is going on? So I have done a record prediction for every single team in the NFL. And now we're gonna take a look at what the playoffs would look like with my record prediction. So let me say this, I did those record predictions over the course of a few weeks and my opinions have kind of changed on some of those teams. It's very difficult to go game by game for each team and do a record prediction because I'm kind of over optimistic about every team. And by the time I came to the last few teams, specifically the NFC South, there weren't a lot of games left for them to win. So I thought their win total was kind of low. So for example, the Saints in this prediction do not make the playoffs and they are pretty far off from making the playoffs. But in real life, I feel like, you know, they could make the playoffs. So I just, I just wanted to say that and um, yeah. So the first thing that sticks out to me that is really wrong is the Ravens not making the playoffs. In real life, I think the Ravens are gonna make the playoffs. I mean, it's just crazy that I don't have the Ravens, you know what I'm saying, making the playoffs. That's nuts to me, that's, that's terrible. Like, boo me, boo, boo this woman, boo this woman, I'll do it myself, boo, 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 boo. See, I just booed myself because the Ravens not making the playoffs is really not smart, you see? I have this necklace right here. It has an L on it. I know some of you might have thought, oh, she wears that necklace with the L on it because her name is Lauren and the first initial of her name is an L. No, it's actually because, you know, I am a walking L. I just take so many L's that I have to wear a necklace with an L. But yeah, the Ravens not making the playoffs is terrible. That's just not good. I would replace them with the Patriots or the Titans or the Colts, the Colts, the Colts are in second in the AFC, going 10 and two in the conference. What the heck? The second column is the conference. The first column is their overall record. So the second column is how they, how they played in the conference. But what the heck? The Colts in second place in the AFC. Okay, see, this is a little nuts. This is a little nuts. We're just gonna go through the AFC and the NFC really quick and then I'll get onto, you know, the playoff predictions, I guess which aren't going to be my real playoff predictions because I would have the Ravens in the playoff if this was a playoff prediction video. This just doesn't make sense, kind of. So yes, the Chiefs are in first place here, no surprise, and we have the Colts in second going 10 and two in the AFC. That's, that's nuts, that's nuts. I don't think the Colts are gonna come in second. I'm sorry, Colts fans. I think you guys will make the playoffs with second place in the AFC, that's kind of nuts. Um, Browns in third, that makes sense. We have the Bills, the Chargers, the Titans, then the Patriots with the last playoff spot, and the Ravens just missing the playoffs. I would reverse these two teams, to be honest with you. Then we have the Raiders just also missing the playoffs, the Steelers, the Dolphins. These are two teams that could possibly make the playoffs as well. Then we got the Bengals, the Broncos, the Jaguars, the Jets, and the Texans in last place. Then over here in the NFC, we got the Rams in first place. Then we got the Packers, the Buccaneers, the Giants. The Giants in fourth place in the NFC. Okay, I'm a Giants fan, and I really think that's a little... It's a little high for the Giants. I don't think they're coming in fourth place in the NFC. Sorry, sorry, my fellow Giants fans, but like, I just don't see them coming in fourth in the NFC. That's like a little too high. Um, then we got the 49ers. Like the 49ers are going to do better than the Giants. I'm sorry. Like that's that's silly. Um, and the and the 49ers have a better record than the Giants. 13 and four in the division. The Giants only went 10 and seven. Then we have the Seahawks going. 11 and 6. Wait, why are the 49ers so low on this? Oh, because they got the wild card. That is that is why, because they're in the same division as the Rams. I just, just forgot about that for a second. But yeah, the Rams are so high up on here and the, Ram, and the 49ers are in fifth because the 49ers got the wild card spot um, because they couldn't win the division with the Rams going 14 and 13, even though they only got one more, one less win than the Rams. That's nuts, you know. This could, this could happen in real life, honestly. The Rams or the 49ers, one of those teams is probably going to get a wild card spot, even though they're probably going to have, you know, a ton of wins. Um, that's nuts. Yeah, so they're they're in that wild card spot after going 13 and four and 10 and two in the division. That's nuts. They get the fifth spot in the NFC, going 10 and two in the division, while the Colts go 10 and two in the AFC and get second place. That's nuts. Look at this. The Colts are in second place 
in the AFC with a 12 and 5 record going 10 and 2 in the division and then the 49ers go 13 and 4 so they have a better overall record and they go 10 and 2 in the division um or the conference sorry I always get confused and um in the NFC in the NFC they go 10 and 2 in the NFC and they have a worse uh spot than the Colts that's nuts it's because the NFC West is so good um okay then we have the Washington football team going 10 and 7 also they get the other wild card spot. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the Seahawks. They also get a wild card spot. So three teams from the NFC West make the playoffs. I mean, that could definitely happen. That division is so, so good. And then we have the Cowboys just missing the playoffs. But I think they can make the playoffs. The Cardinals just miss missing the playoffs. I think they could also make the playoffs. Then we have the Vikings, the Bears, the Saints, who I think could make the playoffs. Remember I said the Saints record was really, really low. I think they should have at least eight wins. Then the Panthers and the Eagles then the Falcons and then the Lions. So let's do... This this playoff prediction here. So this is wild card weekend, I believe. Chargers versus Bills. This is a this is a good game. Five versus four. I gotta go with the Chargers. I'm sorry. I know I have a ton of Bills fans subscribed to this channel, but I really believe in the Chargers this upcoming season. I really do. So I gotta go with the Chargers there. Titans versus Browns. I'm gonna go with the Browns. Then we got Colts versus Patriots, and I'm gonna go with the Colts. Then over here we have Giants versus 49ers. I'm sorry, Giants fans. The 49ers would win this game. That's going to be tough. Whoever wins the NFC East is going to have an insanely tough playoff matchup because they're probably going to play one of those teams from the NFC West. Like, oof, that's, that is going to be tough for whoever has the worst record of the division winners in the NFC. That's going to be tough. Then we have the Seahawks versus the Buccaneers. I think the Buccaneers win. And then Packers versus the Washington football team. I think the Washington football team will lose the Packers. And now I have to, what do I have to do? I have to like get to the next week. So what do I do? Just hit next? I do. So this is divisions. All right. So we got the Colts versus Browns here. I think the Browns win this game. Hello. Why is it not letting me click them? Okay, there we go. Then we have the Chargers versus the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs win that game. Then we have... The Packers versus Bucks. Ooh, a rematch. This is a rematch. This is a rematch of last year. Do we think do we think the Packers get their revenge? I don't know. Let me go to this game really quick. Rams versus 49ers. I'm gonna go with the Rams here. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the Packers here. Let's go for the upset. I don't know. Let's get a little crazy. Let's see if the Packers can get their revenge. Alright. Here we go, championship weekend. Here we go. Let's look at this. Chiefs versus Browns again. We got two We got two re rematches here from last year's playoffs. We got Chiefs versus Browns again, and we got Packers versus Rams again. This time, I think the Rams win. Ooh. And I think oh, the Browns could possibly do it this year. This could be the Browns' year. They were so close last year to beating the Chiefs. But the Chiefs are too good. I'm sorry. The Chiefs are too good. I'm sorry. Let's go on to the Super Bowl. And the two number one seeds, the best teams in the league. This is tough. Do I think the Rams finally do it? Or do I think the Chiefs? I don't know who to choose. This is honestly so tough. I'd be happy with either of these teams winning. Do the Rams do it? After adding Matt Stafford, do the Rams do it? The Super Bowl is in LA this year. All right, we're going with the Rams because, you know, the Super Bowl is in LA. The Super Bowl is in LA. Um, I gotta go with the Rams. I'm a huge Patrick Mahomes fan, so I would be happy if the Chiefs won, but let's go with something a little bit crazy here. Let's, let's switch things up a little bit. This is just my playoff prediction for now. I'm obviously going to do one after the regular season ends and we actually know the real playoff teams, but this is my way too early playoff prediction. You can go down here and uh, look at, um, whoops, look at um, the little bracket here. So we got the Chiefs up there. Wait, let me try to like get this in centered. So we got the Chargers losing, Chargers versus the Bills. We got the I don't know. I'm just going to let you guys look at this. Like, I, how am I going to announce this? Okay, Chargers versus Bills. Chargers win. Patriots versus Colts. Colts win. Titans versus Browns. Browns win. Washington versus Packers. Packers win. Buccaneers versus Seahawks. Buccaneers win. 49ers versus Giants. 49ers win. Then we got the Chiefs versus Chargers. Chiefs win. Colts versus Browns. Browns win. Packers versus Buccaneers. Packers win. 49ers versus Rams. Rams win. 
Chiefs versus Browns, Chiefs win. Packers versus LA, LA wins. Then we got the Super Bowl of the Chiefs and the Rams, and I have the Rams winning in their home stadium in LA. Let's just continue that trend of, you know, teams winning in uh, their, their home stadium. Tampa Bay did it for what, the first time ever last year? Let's see if we can do it back to back. Um, so yeah guys, that is it for this video. I know some of these predictions were like way off. I don't, I don't love this record prediction. Like, I'm not even, like if I saw this record prediction for someone else, I wouldn't agree with it. Like if I saw this record prediction online and it was by like someone else or whatever, I, I would even say like, oh, I don't agree with it. Like I don't agree with it even now that I did it. I'm not saying, oh, it, it had to be someone else doing it. Like I don't agree with my own record prediction right now. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It was pretty tough to do this. Like, I can't lie. Like, it was, this was actually difficult. Like, I really recommend you guys try and do this because it's actually so difficult to do. And um, yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Um, so I guess my early Super Bowl prediction is the Rams versus the Chiefs uh, with the Rams winning in their home stadium. So that is it for this video, guys. Make sure you drop a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this playoff prediction. Is this how you think the playoffs are going to look? Is there a team that you believe um, missed the playoffs in this prediction that should be in the playoffs? I mean, obviously the Ravens should be in the playoffs. Um, yeah, so that is it for this video, guys. Peace!